Hi guys, so today they are, this is a demo from my uh, rapid strike that I made over here. So uh, for the title itself, you know that you can load uh, two different programs inside. So this one is the uh, traditional. So I can uh, on the uh, blaster right here. Okay, so you can see that uh, now it's uh, so-called under the uh, traditional. Ammo is out. So uh, first feature is that you can uh, detect the magazine. So by default it's 80 mag. However, if I throw in a uh, 12, it will detect and it becomes 12. If I uh, throw in a uh, 15, you will detect and become 15. If I uh, throw in a um, 22, okay, you just detect at uh, 22. Okay, so when it is uh, the default 18, uh, basically this is the configurable one. Um, so if you ever need to change the capacity for things that cannot be detected, which is the 18, you can use the ref uh, to lower the trigger to increase so you press the ref it actually re reduce the capacity uh, you press the uh, trigger increase so i'm going to stay at 18 so this is the first feature basically this was the you are able to detect the uh, magazine capacity uh, okay so next feature is uh, basically this thing over here so this is the traditional sort of setup so the ref is still the ref trigger is still the trigger and uh, you, you use this uh, side selector to select the mode so uh, you can go to single shot burst or full auto okay so another feature is uh, you actually have a safety at the side so if i switch on the safety you'll be safety mode so um, when you are in safety mode you can actually change the um, burst fire how many you want you can press the um, press the ref and then press your trigger and you can actually configure two three or four okay i stay at three and if you want to change the uh our ref you can actually press the uh, trigger and then press the ref you can go medium uh highest rf or uh, slowest rf so i'm going to stay at the middle so you switch off the safety okay then we can uh let's go for single shot Okay, now we can use the uh, selector switch over here. Three round burst. So you can uh, take a look. Okay, so now we can go full auto. back to zero okay <coughs> so uh, once the ammo is out is uh, like this so uh, this this fellow here you can also now um, attach something for you to fire off uh, uh, basically a half length so you can uh, open up the jam door <coughs> you can insert something like this okay just go in Okay, so not sure you can see, so it basically extend. Then just put the adapter inside. So basically, the uh, uh, katana mag I think is 15. So I'm just going to lower to 15 capacity because it doesn't detect a uh, katana mag. So I use the one that I can configure the capacity. So go in. So now it's the uh, half length. So again, um, I can use it to single shot. 
So, for the rustic shot. Okay. Then I can change it to bus. Then of course I can change it to a photo. Right? Okay, so uh left with two. Okay, like I say, if you want to change the uh so called the bus, you can switch to safety. Okay, and then uh, we can uh, change the bus like two round bus. Okay, something like that. Okay, you, of course you you do not need to do that. If you left two, even it's three round, you just shoot off the the two. Okay. Yeah. So uh, so you can fire half length darts as well. <coughs> so of course uh, to remove it, just take off. Take off. Then I uh, can just remove this piece, okay. And then uh, it's back to uh, full, let's say 12. So now it's, uh, although it says 15, uh, but once I put it in, it'll be 12. Okay, so uh, now it's like two robbers. So let's test it out. Okay, so you can do that. So I can also change the RF uh, to a highest. Let's go for full auto. Okay, basic, basically full auto. Uh, I switch off the safety. I can just, it's, it's quite fast for me to change. So let's fire it off. Yep, so this is the traditional setup. So uh, I'm going to swap out the program. Uh, it's basically very easy. The Arduino is here. So, uh, so the board is basically here. So I can easily swap out, uh, which I'll do. And then uh, we shall look at the, the next setup. OK, now I've uh, loaded in the second program. OK, let's switch it on. All right, so uh, so now the magazine is out. So I'm just going to insert the magazine. So you can see now the this is the second program. So V two uh, double I. Okay, so what's the difference between uh, this and uh, the previous one? So for this program, there is uh, there's uh, no need for you to ref the uh, flywheel. So you automatically ref. So what happens is now you press the trigger is single shot. Press the ref is uh, burst fire. And you press both, it come become full auto. So if that's the case, then what's this selector for? So if you were to notice, now it's two round bursts. I can switch it three round, and then uh, four round. So it becomes a quick access for you to, to basically select the uh, the uh, the burst limit of the uh, of your of your blaster. So let me just uh, okay. So I'm just gonna switch it to three round as well. So. Uh, let you have a look. Okay. So if I were to put it here, just let you have a look. Okay, my uh, hand is not that long because of this camera angle. So single shot. Burst. Photo. Okay. So it's pretty fast. So if I want to just switch it to two round burst, I can just... This is two round burst. Three round. Yeah, so you can, so you can see it's uh, pretty fast. So I'm just gonna finish off the two round burst. Okay. So uh, so this is a quick access. This is single shot burst, full auto, and then this is two, three, and then four. Okay. So this is pretty fast. Again, you can just throw in the adapter for the short short uh, length dart, and it will still work. So what else is uh is there? So if you can see. In the back of store, there's this thing over here. It is also a uh, push button, but uh, in normal mode, uh, when you're firing, you push it, it uh, doesn't do anything. You have to switch it to safety. Okay, so now you switch it to safety, you press the button once. Uh, if you can't configuration of uh, RF, okay, so this RF you can have uh, actually a maximum of uh, the maximum is actually 10. 
starting 10 is the fastest you can go and then the lowest is actually 1 so the normal is around 3 so you can now find configure the RF let's say I put it as 10 so you push the button again now it actually becomes the flywheel speed okay so you can actually uh, change the speed of flywheel uh, so how, how fast you want it to ref now you might want to know why why do you want to do that so sometimes for indoor play maybe you want to just lower the uh, power of your blaster you can do that so normally you switch it all the way to uh, the highest uh, just to give you a taste I actually put in a uh, a test whereby at this mode if you press the rev you can hear the the revving I'm not too sure whether it tells the difference let's say you set it the lowest okay you can hear that the rev is not very strong if you give it to the highest let's look listen to the rev so I, I think you can hear the difference okay so I'm going to stick it as 10 so like I say all rest, let's set it to the highest just now it's just 3 so now fire speed okay so this is only done in safety mode okay now uh, through this uh, knob over here this uh, configure you press you configure uh, speed you press to change what you want to configure and you rotate and then you configure all right so from safety let's move it back so I'm going to switch out the magazine this is 18 so this is uh, 12 I think so I put it back so you auto detect 12 so now we know that it's the highest uh, uh, RFS let's see how fast it go so you can see that it's uh, pretty fast right so let me just change okay RF let's change it to uh, let's say the lowest we can have okay and then let's change it back so let's see how slow it is so you can you can see that it is uh, actually significantly uh, slower so uh so this mode again single shot burst full auto both together quick access two purpose three purpose four purpose so all you can uh, control within just one hand without doing anything okay you can detect the magazine okay of uh, the capacity as well as uh, you can really configure the uh, flywheel speed and the RF if you really want to and uh, just a little sign up this thing is actually removable okay you can just uh, open it up okay you can actually see the flywheel inside so it's a uh, something on something that uh, I, I, I do so over here if I switch it off again this one locks the uh, battery cover so you can now remove it easily yeah so these are just minor details yeah so this is my uh, new blaster thanks for watching i'm uh, tungsten